Welcome to our third video in our scientific method video series. This video is about experimental design. We're going to talk about procedure and materials. Remember that we're doing a Mentos and Coke experiment. In our previous videos, we took an observation. We turn that observation into a question. We had to rephrase our question a little bit to make sure it was testable. But then we made a prediction and we identified our variables, our independent and our dependent variable. We used our prediction and what we identified as the variables to write a hypothesis. Remember, a hypothesis is an educated guess that is an if, then, because statement. In the scientific method, the steps that we learn in school, really the only two steps here are question and hypothesis. Everything else, observations, identifying variables, and predictions are all part of these two things. We're not actually found in the lab report. We're now ready for our experimental design. First comes materials list. This is a bulleted list of every supply you're going to need in order to conduct your experiment. Next comes a procedure. Procedure is a step-by-step -step directions. They're numbered of how to conduct the experiment. We want your experiment to be repeatable. So we want the steps to be easy to follow. We have our control variables. It's the one type of variable we haven't talked about yet. Our control variables are what stays the same. In a good experiment, only two things changes, your independent and your dependent variables. Everything else should be controlled. Look at the supplies here and cure the materials. materials list is going to be bulleted. It's going to be detailed and everything you're going to use is listed, included maps. If you need 100 milliliters of water save it. someone has to repeat this experiment with what you've listed here for supplies. This is my materials list. We have four packs of Mentos, two bottles of Coke, two bottles of Diet Coke, two bottles of Mountain Dew, two bottles of Pepsi, two bottles of Dr. Pepper, a special meter stick and a table. We've taken care of the materials list part of our experimental design. The next step is our procedure. Remember the procedure is a set of directions, step by step and number. Try a procedure for our Mentos and Coke experiment as shown here. Let's check your procedure. The good procedure is numbered. It's easy to follow. You've included amounts and everything that you've done is listed. A procedure needs to be replicated. Someone else should be able to take that set of directions and repeat the process doing exactly the same thing you did. This is the procedure I came up with. First, place the soda bottle on a level table. Then open the soda bottle and count out four Mentos. Drop in four Mentos at the top of the bottle and record the reaction. And with this, we're at the end of our third video. At this point, you should be able to write a materials list and a procedure. We also talked about control variables. Make sure you know what those are and you're able to identify those as well. We're ready to perform our experiment. See you then.